More now on that new COVID vaccine entering the pipeline. The Oxford vaccine by AstraZeneca is said to be up to 90% effective. CBS's Charlie Daggett explains some of the advantages of this vaccine as we continue our series, Racing to a Cure. It's being hailed here as a breakthrough that could stop the pandemic in its tracks. Not only effective and safe, clinical trials show the Oxford vaccine may stop people spreading the virus too. They swab tested volunteers every week and found a reduction in asymptomatic cases, people spreading the disease without knowing they have it. We may have the first vaccine that's been shown to protect against severe disease, clinical disease, and against asymptomatic disease. This may stop the transmission of COVID. Yes, it looks as if it does to an extent. And the hardest thing to do is to prevent transmission. So Professor Hill said he expected the first vaccines to be administered here in the UK in December, about the same timeline predicted for the Pfizer and Moderna vaccines in the US. So I would expect maybe on day two after approval, on the 11th or on the 12th of December, hopefully, uh, the first people will be immunized across the United States, across all states. Here's how the three vaccines stack up. Pfizer's effectiveness stands at 95%, Moderna 94.5%, and Oxford an average of 70 going up to 90%. All three drug companies have committed to producing billions of doses in 2021. Oxford 3 billion, Pfizer 1.3, Moderna up to a billion doses. Add to the mix drug maker Johnson & Johnson, who now say they're hoping to publish their results in the new year. The U.S. government has ordered 300 million doses at a cost of more than a billion dollars. AstraZeneca believe they're going to be playing a big part of the vaccine program in the United States. Why? They're inexpensive, they're easy to mass produce, and they only ever need basic refrigeration. Margaret. Charlie Daggett, thank you.